Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 3 and... Oh. There's a thing down here. Surface Drifter. Oh, I do have reach, don't I? Okay, I fell in the hole with it. A lot smaller than I thought it would be. Apparently I can harvest it though. Black fibers. Cool. Alright. And let's see. So I did get a little bit of stuff done off camera. I used up more fire clay. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Black fiber times four now. And I did end up with actually a lot of blue clay. I got the wall most of the way around my lake. But I'm gonna have to uh, extend this out around to here. Now I can just block this water off and call it good. Because I think somehow he managed to get across and then up here. Because I saw him, he was like right here. Started running towards me and then it's like, he went, oh, daytime, and ran away. So, did kind of luck out there, I think. That and I made a spear, which eh, took some damage, so. All right, I need another flint. And let's check on the fire. Oh, it's out. Uh, good. Got the food. Going off quick. No, heat back up. I want to smelt that. I also made myself a clay pot. Which was a whole lot easier than this thing's turning out to be. Holy crap, that's a lot of clay. Uh, let's see, shovel. I am so glad you can't accidentally, like, bung up your, your tool heads. There we go. Because I'm not exactly the steadiest when it comes to keeping the mouse still. Shovel. Is there any more fire clay? Oop, here we go. Just in case things can, you know, somehow be moving fast enough to run from one block up over that way. I want to try to avoid that if I can. Also, a little bit of more dirt never hurt. Hey, I turned into Dr. Seuss for a second. Looks like I get quicker at digging there for a second. Nine clay and I have five dirt. Oop. I am kind of hungry, but oh well, I have some meat. I found a rabbit drowned in my uh, in the pond here, and I was able to actually harvest more meat off of that. So awesome! Now. So this is where I got the blue clay from. This is just a big deposit of blue clay here. That's blue clay as well. This is not. Okay. I want one more piece of dirt to... I don't want to leave a step up for these things to uh, climb up on top of the wall and basically... Ah, dang it. Uh, basically just like walk their happy butt over to me. There we go. It's bad enough they can swim, but I don't want them like... And then run along the wall. I'm not sure how good the AI is.
All right, so the berries are, uh, they're not even flowering yet. Flower in less than a day, weather permitting. And I noticed something where I hit C to check, like, my food values and stuff. Down here, rainfall in this area, common. Outside temperature is 15 C. So temperature is something to deal with. My health points is 19.2 now, though, because of my nutrition levels. So not bad there. And yeah, healing effectiveness, everything's all at 100%. Which is also nice. These are disappointing, though. But let's see. One thing I might want to start working on is actually I need to make a bunch of firewood. Two stacks. Not particularly great. And I want to see if I can make some charcoal. There we go. And I've got got two dirt on me. Nope. Okay. Not sure I'm supposed to do this. Does that do a thing? That doesn't appear to be the case. So I'm going to actually leave that dirt there. I need to figure out how to do a charcoal pit. Charcoal. Charcoal burning. Okay, for so fuel use chief temperatures high enough to smelt metal ores, charcoal requires a lot of firewood to produce. May require you to chop down a forest or two. Okay, you can dig a pit, mini dimension up to eleven by eleven by eleven. Wow. Fill your pit with complete stacks of firewood and make sure you leave no empty blocks or your fire will burn to ash. Cover the filled pit completely, but leave a single block in the center exposed to air. Okay. Build a fire pit on the Okay, so I have to build a fire pit. Gotcha. Pit begins to smoke peacefully. You'll be roared to charcoal unless it's an in-game day. If you hear burning sounds, you should open the pit and quickly extinguish the fire. You may have missed a spot in the pit was not airtight. Right. Um. Sure, let's grab these back, actually. I can go there. And I'm going to need two of those. And I need a grass, wherever that's at. Right here. Come on, there we go. Just need one. So, boom. Shift right click, refuel. Yeah. How about I do it with firewood in hand? Boom. Fire pit's going. Twenty-four. Okay, before the pile ignites, make sure it's not exposed to air. Yeah, okay, we're good. So it actually, you have to sit here and babysit it for a little bit. I did not even think about that part of it. But it is peacefully smoking, so... Eleven, ten. Five. Two, one, zero. It is lit. There we go. I think I might screw that up. 
it is not smoking peaceably. Oh, so I have to cover the pit. Build the actual fire pit, or cover the actual fire pit up. Okay. Well, that's just going to stay there for now, because I am actually low on wood. So I don't want to keep screwing this up. Hey, our pot is done. If I put it here now, I can actually cook stuff in it. Not bad. Ah, oh, there's that thing. So, I did end up getting some some heather by accident. There we go. And... 3 out of 5, 4 out of 5, 8... Eight, eight. Uh, hey, I do have some cobblestone on me. Okay, good. I'm assuming that'll work. <laughs> I really am. So, let's look at our map again. I need wood. There's trees to the south. There's another ruin right there. Trees up to the north. And to the east. Oh, man. I, unfortunately, I have to go a pretty decent distance away to get trees. Not really looking forward to that. Native copper bits. This is the one that I already know. Copper there, there, and now here. I'm assuming it just stopped raining because we're in the desert. Rainfall in this area? Rare. Got lead here, huh? Interesting. Lead is not something I know anything about. I'm not grabbing it for now because, well, storage. Okay. Keep on the lookout also for any dead rabbits because they're actually relatively common. I found one in my pond, like I said. I also found another one while I was digging clay up. I had no idea where it was it was even there. Until I was basically right on top of it. Oh yeah, there's clay here. Hello, tree. Oh, you spooked a chicken. Hmm. 
I heard a rooster. That was it. Like three logs, and well, I got a sapling out of it, though. So I can slowly start doing my own tree farm, which would be big help, actually. And the gear is, like, spinning fairly quickly backwards. I probably don't want to hang out here for, for very long. Of course, this flipping tree here. Oh, good lord. There we are. Ten. Whoa. Where are we at here? Ninety-seven percent. Okay, so... I mean, it's spinning decently fast, but it's not, like amazingly fast, so I'm not too worried about it. What are you? Black current. Might as well grab some berries while I'm here. Chop one was hunger work. Wow, it's already two in the afternoon. Alright, so 10 logs now. That chopped a lot quicker. The reason why that one tree took so long though is because it was counting all the leaves nearby as well, including the leaves from the other tree. Eh, birch log. Cattails. Definitely don't want to stay time spend too much time in this area though. Hey, my gear's starting to move forward again now. Yeah, it seems like the temporal instability areas are actually fairly small. Hello, what are you? Oh, furs, okay. What are they? Hmm, could grab some daisies, I guess. I mean... Oh, hello, butterfly. So I'm thinking I need to, I did, as you can tell, I didn't do a whole lot of a, a lot of panning. I'm thinking I need to do that because I, I need to get my hands on a good amount of copper. And that way, because I start making tools, which would be nice. I need to make a crucible with, and actually fuel that with my, uh, that glass. No, it's just, okay. Cobblestone stairs rain in such a way that it looks like a window. Hello. Tools. Stone axe and some rusty gears. I guess that's like the currency of this game, honestly. So basically I just found some money. And there's my ruin that I've been getting cobblestone out of. I need to work on that too, actually. I am waiting actually for a bunch of crops to ripen up. So that way I can get the food out of them and the seeds and then replant, have it go, go from there, you know. Uh, do I like want to really punch any of this up right now? Oh. Four out of five, four. Four and five, yeah, see that's They're making progress, so Hello, what are you? Or sure flax. Sure. Oh, 
All right. Hmm, oak logs. It was weird for a second there. The uh, the wagon looked like it was moving. Yes, Alphonse. All right. One gear for glass. For four glass, I'm guessing is what that means. Fly high boots, eight gears. Ornate gold spear for 16. Aristocrat shoes for eight. Aristocrat leggings for eight, okay. Pearl necklace for 15. Small brown, small brown carpet. And this is all stuff that he will buy from me. Yeah, I might be able to find the, like the rough parados, but not not currently. I have three gears. Alphonse has fifty-five gears. Okay. So. Thank you. I want a real window. And the fact that Alphonse sells glass is just, just splendid. Let's see, I did dig up a couple more pieces of dirt here, so here we go. The sun is reflecting even though it's not visible through the cloud cover. It's like the whenever I broke these, they just they didn't even drop. All right. Well, that's a thing, now, isn't it? So, where am I at for copper? Twenty-four. 20 pieces will smelt into one ingot. Smelting temperature 1084C. Okay. Let's take half of that, I guess, turn to firewood. Okay, this is actual dirt here, so let's, let's grab a bit of this. Let's see if we can figure out this charcoal business, right? Whoop, there we go. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. Let's try that again. I thought I would auto select this and I was wrong. They're doing all sorts of weird things. Alright. Charcoal, burning. The old fire pattern remains supposed block, cover it up with solid blocks to seal the pit. Okay.
Well, it's still smoking, so... Hopefully it works this time. Alright, I uh, got food to put away. Miscellaneous stuff everywhere. I got some pine saplings. I should probably plant those. Um, extra dirt. Uh, rusty gear, I guess, can go into here for now. Food stuffs. And. So we can put the flint away for now. There's that all going. You're fine for now. It's like only 7 p.m., but it's getting dark already. And. Yeah, I think this is. They're stuck on the weather permitting right now. So they may not flower because it's raining. It's still smoking. It's been more than 30 in-game minutes, so... I'm going to count that as a win. Hey, I got a flint. I got some clay. Out of gravel. And I'm getting stones. Yeah. The productivity does leave a little bit to be desired on this, but honestly, it's you're putting in time and you're getting free resources. So, I mean, it's not completely terrible. It does seem to drain hunger somewhat quickly, though. Hmm. I just realized I don't have any more food on me either. Alright. Okay, there's that lit up now. Uh, food. Fresh for 134 days. Cranberries, fresh for five days. I guess that would be the thing to eat first. And then red currants and flax grain. There's really no point in me starting the fire, honestly. And the fact that it does actually throw some light in the in the uh, room here. I meant to plant those. Alright, now you say you work here. But you don't. So I want to get, if I can, axe, hammer, pickaxe. Yeah, I'll we'll just put the fire right over the top of my bed there. Okay. And the way it's spraying the sparks, you know, I mean, it's not ominous or anything. Oh, yeah. This is slightly tedious. It's not actually horrible, but I imagine it's a lot worse to watch than it is to actually do it. And... Well, that's the first layer almost done. Oh, yay, now I have to actually fill this in. Alright, 
that's not terrible. I mean, actually, it kind of is. Then you need so much clay to make these molds, too. Yep, there goes another one. And Anytime the clay in my hand does a weird bounce. There you go. There's another one. That's when you're using a piece of clay up. Now this you can screw up and like place stuff there. It'll tell you, hey, and then you can left click it to uh, pop the appending bit out and recover it. Alright, cool. Get that out of here. Right click to pick it up. You know what, we'll swap this now. And we'll drop that in there because I want to cook this up if I can. It was still hot enough, it instantaneously caught. Cool. I need to get this up to 650 degree Celsius. And it's it's heating up rather quickly, so shouldn't be a problem. Uh, it is now almost midnight though, so time to sleep. And I woke up at 5 a.m. and it is still flipping raining. So 6.50, yeah. Probably going to need to grab some more firewood. Because it needs to get 650 before it even starts cooking. Which the fire itself just finally got to 650. And now we should see, yep, there's a goes the progress bar. 651, 52... I have got a lot of cranberries. Just realized that. Look down like, wow, 17. Pretty successful little trip there. Now the other thing I actually need to make though is a crucible. So, crucible. The smelt ores on the fire pit. Okay, we're done. Awesome. Grab this out. Do like this. And I guess I'll just hold on to this piece of firewood for now. Alright, so, get in here. Have a seat. Now, this one at least starts off with hey, we need to remove all this clay. And unlike napping, that if you like isolate some pieces away from the main body, it doesn't automatically just fall apart. So, all right, and There we go, cool. And now that it's done, we can just right click to pick it up. Drop it back into here. Hey, that piece of firewood. Go back in there. Cool. Combusted. Awesome. You know, I do have this wonderful tool rack here. I should be doing like this axe is like almost busted too. You have to get to six hundred smelt.
Alright. This thing here is still smoldering. So I'm going to guess that that is uh, not an option yet. Because charcoal burns hotter than wood does. So I imagine it would get up to the proper temperature faster, which I was, I'm kind of hoping. And... Yep. Definitely need more. Okay, start to cook now. Good. 4 of 9, 3 of 5. Let's check on... Oh, I see some rye that's fully grown. 4 out of 5 on the beets. Mature rye. Eight out of nine, eight out of nine. I shouldn't take off while I'm smelting stuff. I really shouldn't leave a fire going when I'm not here to supervise it. Ah, it looks like it'll be fine. Yeah, wood only smells to 700, so. I can put that back, though. And I can go into here. Put the clay away. And copper. Uh, copper. No, no, not going to work. It's not going to get hot enough that charcoal. Just notice that. Now, can I just like set this down somewhere? And I'll place this block here. Now, oh, but you can go in the chest, okay? And the hoe. Get some rye planted. All right, you're pretty much gonna smelt out. Okay, cool down. I know it's bad for my food, but I don't want to take the 10 minutes to walk over here normally. Ah. Uh, four out of five still. Why do you tease me so? Why do you torment me so? We have saplings here too. We'll grow in about five days. Four days. And I do have some more that I should plant. Alright, let's go check on our charcoal. I'm hoping this thing gets done soon. Nope, still smoldering. I'm not even getting flint. Well, I might be getting, like, the occasional stone. But since I don't have stones in my hotbar, I'm not really noticing it. Hey, I got a flint that time. And yeah, nothing. You know, I completely did not check. Supposed to be be too much to ask for uh, like a rabbit or something in there. Rabbit or something big. All right, so I do have some fire clay I got to put away. There's that. You can have that as well. rocks. You have some dirt, I guess. Eh, 
Makes it a little bit better, right? I need to look that up, because the, the handbook was of no help whatsoever. So I'm trying to make copper tools. Is it just me, or is that smoke getting, uh, that doesn't look like it. I was hoping it was getting a little, uh, a little fainter, but... Unless it's an in-game day. All right. I think it's been more than that, but... Same time, I think, if it was going to uh, spontaneously combust. Oh, hey, look, it's flowering. Cool. So the rain is not stopping it. Must be just, like, winter weather, then. All right, that's cool. Now these things, I would like them to grow. Pretty much all of it's at stage three, except for the, the new stuff here. The flax is at stage four, but that was the first thing I planted too. All right, um, cranberry bushes, sure, why not? Running is probably not advised, but I'm getting slightly impatient with everything. Especially since I didn't really bring any food with me. My current bush is all empty. What are you, lupin? Yep. Blue lupine. It's always funny because it's actually more of a purple color, but oh well, you know. Call it what you will. It was probably named before purple actually had an actual color for the name. Hi. Yes, please. That was growing in a dry dropped nothing. You're mature though. Alright. Okay, so I got a little bit of grain now. I got some more flax seeds. I've got three more fiber. And I've come to a rather large lake. But there are trees up here. But I don't have my axe. Or flint. So this is basically just for... Uh, Basically berries, honestly. Berries and any crops I come across. Because I would like to get a good sized garden going, honestly. Seems like it'd be one of those things that like, you know, was really helpful. Reliable source of food. Some resources like the flax. Ruin. I have some inventory space, sure. And nothing. Right, so that looks like a crop. Yes, they look like carrots. So it looks like carrots if you break them before... Oh, that one didn't give me anything. Uh, fully ripe, you can still get actually get some carrots. Which is kind of good to know, actually. It is actually a rather peaceful, peaceful game, though, isn't it? Even if it never quits raining. Holy crap.
It just never ends. Hmm. Just realized I planted those oddly. Oh well. Alright, red current. My axe. Want the hoe. Five carrot seeds, though. Carrots is a one out of seven, so I mean it's faster than cabbage is. It's almost half the speed, but not quite as fast as uh, turnips. This thing is still going. Good lord. All right. Well, this was a bit of an impromptu episode, anyway. So uh, I was not expecting to have the the drifter. I guess he's called. Like, waiting to come after me. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, hopefully by next episode, the charcoal pit will be done. And then we can actually start making metal tools. And the nice thing is, if I can make a copper pick, I know where more copper is. So once we get the copper pick, we're, we're golden. Oh, that was, that's a weird hole. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series, and until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.